Hi guys, I'm here today to do my top 10 products right now, uh, and kind of always, um, but these are my top 10 favorites that I just can't get over. So first I'm going to start with a skincare item. This is uh, Avon A New Clinical Eye Lift. It's got an upper eye gel and an under eye cream. I really like this because I always worry about the sagging <laughs> eyelid on the top. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done, if you're a makeup artist or if you do your makeup, you know, makeup for friends or whatever, sometimes you see that some people have really crepey upper eyelids. Um, and as of yet, oh God, uh, I don't have that. And so this, I feel like, helps tighten those upper eyelids. And um, it's a product that I really had no idea existed. Um, I don't buy a ton of things from Avon, but I love this. So that is my one product. Highly recommend it. I'll go next into, um, as you know, Photo Finish, my all-time favorite primer. This is the oil-free version. I just put this on after I put on my um, after I put on my lotion on my face, and um, it gives me a really smooth uh, base to put my makeup on. So this is basically, I think, silicone, uh, some form of silicone to put on your face. It works really well for keeping your skin nice and smooth. Speaking of keeping your skin smooth, something that I just discovered in the last few months is Fusion um, Illumafil. Let's see if I can get that to. There it is. It is a line filling illuminizer with amplifont. You roll on forehead, brows, cheeks, or any lines you want to plump and highlight, and then you apply makeup as usual. This really works. I read some reviews uh, on Sephora that says that it doesn't. Some say it doesn't, some say it does. I think it depends on how deep your lines are. Um, I don't have crazy deep lines, but when I put this on my smile lines, and I do have some forehead lines from raising my eyebrows a bit too much, this really works, especially when I'm having like a you look tired and terrible day. I'll roll this on, wait about five minutes, and it really works. Doesn't last all day, but just like regular fusion. But, um, but I love it, and especially if you're doing photos or for your wedding day or just when you're going out and you want to look a little extra, uh, I don't know, a little extra young, a uh, little bit of a better version of yourself, I think this stuff really works, and I really recommend it. Also, you don't need to use that much of it, so, um, so I roll it on and then I tap it, tap it into my face. And I do actually put it under my eyes now. At first, when I got it, I wasn't putting it under my eyes. Next is uh, my Smashbox Artificial White. I have this in two colors. I have this in Flash, uh, which is the color I'm using now because I'm so pale. Um, I'm not using any self-tanners or anything like that right now because um, I'm getting laser, so I'm not allowed to. I have it in Glow as well. Glow is a lot more shimmery than, I wonder if that picks up. It has a lot more shine in it than Flash. Flash is much more natural, so regardless of your coloring, if you want to use it mixed in with your foundation, if you don't want a lot of shimmer and a lot of shine, then I would use probably this color, um, unless this color is super, super bright for you. Um, so I love that. I mix it in with um, either my Clinique, which I have an oil-free Clinique, uh, super fit, oil-free, uh, or I use it with um, my Chanel Vita Lumiere, which I love. Or I'll just mix it in with my moisturizer and only apply concealer and my next product, which is Studio Fix, which is this amazing full coverage powder. It's nothing new. It's nothing special. I use color C35, but it's one of my all-time favorite products. I mean, it's amazing. I can always depend on it, and uh, the greatest thing is I don't have to put on full foundation if I don't want to. I can just put on concealer and throw this on on top of it and it gives me a nice beautiful even coverage. So if you've never used this product and you're looking for a full coverage powder that doesn't look too heavy, I would suggest using this. And I would suggest using it with the uh, Sephora Airbrush powder brush. It's amazing. It's the softest brush I've ever owned. It's the best powder brush I've ever owned. And it's probably the only brush I have that doesn't shed on my face. So something to think about. Uh, since we were talking about concealer, I will go in to that. Many of you probably already know this, but I love, love, love the Smashbox uh, High Definition Concealer, especially for under eye. It's really creamy. It's got great coverage. 
uh, doesn't make you, you know, have a lot of lines um, underneath the eyes. Um, and my mom also uses this, and obviously she's got a little bit um, more aging than I do since she's my mother. And she also uses this and doesn't feel like it um, causes her any of those pro usual problems that concealers cause for all of us, which is, you know, settling into the lines and creases. And this is amazing. One of my favorites. I love it. I thought I'd pick an eyeshadow just um, to keep it, you know, kind of varied. So I would say if I was stuck on a desert island and I could only bring one eyeshadow with me, I would bring Max Dazzle Light. It's um, a vanilla-y shade with what appears to be like a pinkish shimmer or a, um, you know, peachy pinkish shimmer. It's, I can swatch it for you, although I'm not sure if it'll turn up very well, but there it is. It's a really gorgeous shade. If you haven't tried it, I would pop into the store and give it a try because it's really great, especially if you're trying to highlight your lids to put it right in the center, in the front little corner, and in the brow bone. It's really gorgeous. Since we're on eyes, I will talk about this, my all-time favorite mascara. I was actually looking to see if other people had done any reviews on Buxom Lash. And not that many people have. I also have their um, Buxom Gel Liner, which I really like, which perhaps I will do a review on another time. Um, but this mascara, I mean, it just doesn't get better for me. It's got this uh, tapered brush, tiny bristles in the front, tiny bristles in the back, medium-sized bristles in the middle. It's like a rubber brush, and it gives me really natural, um, really long, really defined lashes, and nothing has ever been as good for me. I love Dior Show. I haven't bought it in a couple of years, but I love Dior Show, and I would say that I like this even better than that. And I've got loads of different mascaras, because for whatever reason, every time I order from Sephora, um, I always get a free mascara, so I haven't really needed to buy any other. I've got Fusion Mascara right now. I got Aqua Lash recently, not for free, but I purchased that. Um, so I'm probably going to try Dior Show next. Oops. Just to see, um, just to compare them for you, just so you can see. Um, my next favorite is my Cargo High Pigment Pencil in black. This is really good for the, it's really dark. This is really good for the inside of your eyes. I love... Uh, Makeup Forever pencils and Sephora pencils and all sort of different all sorts of different brands, but I just find that this one um, just smudged it off. Sorry, this one um, is best for your waterline. I haven't tried the Avon Super Gel Shock, I think it's called, but um, I hear that that's really great. I'm looking forward to trying that. Uh, a makeup video would not be complete for me if I did not put Lip Fusion in. I love Lip Fusion. Um, this is let's see, Smooch is just a very sheer shimmery red, perfect for that kind of snow whitey natural red lips look. Um, but I have to say my all time favorite lip gloss, as many of you know, this is, makes it the 11th product by the way so I'm cheating, uh, is Frivolous Pink by Estee Lauder. It's just a sheer shade with pink and gold shimmer in it. It's so gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now over um, Sephora's Fuchsia. Let's see what color that's called. I think it's called 11A. Yeah, R11. R11. So I'm like, tap this on a touch of this and I've added it to this. And um, yeah, so those are my favorites. Uh, trying to do a quick video. So I hope you give some of them a try. And if you have any questions about um, any of these products, I'm happy to answer them. So uh, send me a message. All right. Have a great night, guys. Bye.